find it here. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. It's kind of like the make or break for this costume. I need to find it. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, that's Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the day. Welcome to our little um, morning stroll. The kids are at school. Um, Miley's at home organizing a whole bunch of photos. Um, today, I don't have a whole lot on my uh, to-do list except for running nine miles today. And then I've got to continue to look for those things that I need for Jake and I's costumes. That's all I have on my list of things that I need to do today. Besides like, you know, cleaning the house and you know, those other normal things. But of the fun things you guys would like to see, <laughs> there's not a whole lot today. It's just one of those uh, just chill days. Um, so welcome to the day, welcome to the vlog, welcome to the channel. Those of you who are new, thank you so much for coming. And um, like, subscribe, all the things, share with your friends. And uh, let's get on with this day and see what it has in store. Welcome to the day, guys. Taking a little break. He's kind of panting a little bit, our fat little puppy. But uh, when he goes potty on the trail, <laughs> We make him pack it. We don't pack it because that's gross. We make him do it. <laughs> do you love going for walks? It's his favorite thing. He does love it. Oh, found something to smell. And pee on. That's a good boy. Good job. Gross. Alrighty. We've made it back from our walk. And I have my running stuff on. So I'm going to run really quickly to... Um, do my nine miles. I'm gonna do a couple errands on the way. I've and got the ironing done today and the kitchen cleaned up and <laughs> all those fun things that are, you know, dailies. It's gonna be pretty, pretty chill day today, you guys. I think the kids have uh, young women's and young men's tonight. So dad and I will do something this evening. We'll probably pack, actually. I'll get all the laundry done and we'll probably pack tonight for a little adventure coming up this weekend it's gonna be so much fun so much fun we are both in need of a a, a break and some serious daytime <laughs> and this puppy is making it difficult to get my shoes on rufus i need to get my shoes on puppy i love this doggy he's just so cute Finally got Rufus out of the way so I could put my shoes on. <laughs> but I'm gonna run into the DI. Um, it's a thrift store. And I'm gonna see if I can find some overalls and some other things that um, I need. And then we're gonna go run. I promise it will happen today. <laughs> Right, I've been in, I actually looked around for a while. I think I was in there an hour <laughs> looking for things. But um, when in doubt, ask somebody where it's at because I was in the wrong spot. And then they directed me and I knew exactly where to go and then poof, there it was. So um, that was fun. That was about an hour. Um, I found a couple things. I'm still in search of others um, for this little costume that we have. You guys, it's gonna be so cute when it comes together. I'm so excited about it. And when you guys see what it is, you'll go, oh yeah, a doy. <laughs> of course they would be that for Halloween. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and pause my shopping right now and go for my run and then I'll pick it back up when I'm done. Cause I think the gym is gonna be pretty much empty now. And I didn't want to take the treadmill for a super long time, so that's why I kind of waited to go today. I think it's time. I need to go to Big Five and get some sports beans and then go to the gym for a run. All right, kids. I got my sports beans. These are the non-caffeinated ones. They just have carbohydrates and stuff in them. They're really good for keeping your energy up if you're going to do like long distance runs or long distance hikes and things like that. My friend that's a marathon runner introduced them to me years ago. And uh, I love them. So I got my beans. I've got a good attitude. <laughs> Let's go crush some nine miles, shall we? It's gonna be amazing. Well, I am done with my run, my 
my sports beans gave me the energy that I needed just like I knew they would um, but my knee on the other hand did not my right knee decided that it wanted to not go today um, I need to buy new shoes it's all things that I know I need to I need to fix so it's not like damaged damaged but it did make me stop my run today. I didn't do the full nine. I only did 6.5. Um, at about 6.2, 6 and a quarter, um, my right knee started to hurt. So I walked another quarter mile and then um, had to make the decision whether I kept going or if I stopped. He never felt better. It was still sore, and it's still sore, um, so it was a tough decision. I had to decide whether I was going to walk the full nine or stop at two and a half shy of my goal. But I had to keep my main goal in mind, which was a half marathon in November. I can't run a half marathon if I've blown my knee, if I've injured myself. So I had to stop today. Man, why am I crying? I had to stop today and go a little bit short of the distance that I was planning on doing. But I think in the long run, this is the best decision. Um, I'll be able to do what I need to this weekend um, without a sore knee. I'll be able to run my marathon in a couple weeks and it'll all be good, so. Life lesson for you. Sometimes you need to slow down and sometimes you need to just keep your main goal in mind and then keep working towards it, whatever that looks like. Um, but right now I'm driving home to get um, kids. They are gonna be out of school. I need to see how their day went. And I still need to go look for some more things for the costumes that Jake and I need. So this day is still going, even though I didn't do the full nine. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Still going. Some days. Some days, I tell you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the day. Today, we are going to be going to a local spirit store, which, if you don't know what that is, it's a Halloween, like, decor slash costume store, and they're usually gigor- gigorgeous? That's definitely weird. Humongous. <laughs> I don't know where I got gigorgeous. That they're usually pretty big, and so we're gonna go see if we can find some stuff for mom and dad for this weekend, because they're gonna be going to a surprise. It's gonna be fun. You ready? Let's go. We've made it to the Spirit Halloween store. The girls are with me, Jack and Carter, are already inside. So who knows oh, what kind of havoc they're thinking. gonna wreak? Wreak? Wreak havoc? That's right, right? <laughs> right, right. Um, yes, so we're gonna see if I can find something here. If I can't find it here, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. It's kind of like the make or break for this costume. I need to find it. I don't like, I don't like him. That one says pretty creepy. Pretty creepy. And it's like the girl section. Like... <laughs> Dirt! <laughs> Oh, Carter, you look cute. Looks Who is sad, that supposed got, to be? Jack? Uncle, Uncle Bobby. Oh, <laughs> Brian, Uncle Brian? Uncle Brian. <laughs> I found part of what I needed. The other part, I still can't find. They did find one for me, but it's in Taylorsville, and I'm not gonna go up to Taylorsville to find this. So we're gonna make do with what we've got. And we're gonna go home now and make a steak. <gasps> For me and dad, you guys are hot dogs. Okay. Yay! Okay. Alrighty, dinner time. Kids are eating hot dogs. Mom and dad are eating steak. We got ah. some steak from a family friend. Farmer Pat. <laughs> we will put his link down below. If you live in the Utah Valley area, he is in three different locations. We'll try to put down where he's at. He has a trailer that he sells all of his meat, but it's cows, his cows, his pigs, all that stuff. This steak is freaking awesome. So <laughs> if you live in Utah County, go see Farmer Pat and get some steaks or some sausage or bacon or whatever. <laughs> or we gotta hamburger. go catch him. He was out of ribs. He has country style ribs. We gotta go pick up and try. But yep. we're eating his steak right now and it's yep. amazing. It's Rob Robin Farm? 
Yeah. Robin Farms. We'll put we'll put a link to his like Instagram or something in the description. So good. So you can so. find where he's at. So I've got a lot to do, enough time, but I'm just gonna have to just like boom, 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 get just just go through it. It's gonna be crazy, crazy fast.